the residents of Boonsburg. I am coming to you once again from the well, from a different secret location, where and I am hiding my identity to protect myself from the gas company and all the power brokers. Today, I will be sharing with you top secret information that I want you to share with the world, and it's, I'm going to teach you exactly how to make a Boonsburg egg. And you will know from here on out the 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 same logic and knowledge that the people who built the pyramids and Stonehenge and, and all the great all the great builders of big things did exactly as I am about to show you in my constitutionally protected opinion. What first we need to do is we need to get this line. Okay. First thing with a Boonsburg egg, it's very simple. You need to start with 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 the with a square as you can see here this is a two inch by two inch square that I, I have right here that so you can see it a little easier okay and this will work universally for every Boonsburg egg out there if you simply if you simply go and on a ratio for first you're gonna make it how to make a Boonsberg egg. Now, if you if you simply start with a ratio of of six to seven, if, if you know you're going to start with a box, whatever the box is is one. I don't care if it's a million miles or one inch, it's always equal to one, and then you're going to do different radii, if I'm saying it correctly, um, you take the box and the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go, since the box is two inches, I'm going to do a radius of, uh, I'm going to go out 12 from there, okay, and then I'm going to go what, a radius of 12 from up here from here okay so that so basically that's whatever this is this is six times it radius of six in each direction so from from here's a B, C, D, from A, it goes out radius of six times whatever the box is, and from D, six times from that corner from where D is. Now, to make the, other, the others, we need to go out seven times whatever this is here, and so seven radius of will bring us exactly there and then and then seven you then because that was from here coming outward so you're, you're going to double up over the box of the seven and so and then you take your seven and then you go right here so what you then end up with is an exact Boonsburg egg shape and what's interesting unlike a perfect circle which is a pie of 3.14, I have a personal belief that the pi for this will equal 3 simply because this shaded area will be will be taken out because of the overlapping of these two sevens since this one comes back to here to where B is and this one comes to comes to where C is and and then of course this is a 6 and a 6. Now when you when you do the box region of a Boonsburg egg, if you were to simply, you know, basically come down, come down like this, you know, you could, you know, relative, you know, you can actually bring it back here a little bit if you wanted to, just a little up further and a little out, and this would be your box region of where you would put the the main heavyweight or the stone or whatever, and your counterweight region would go in this region over here you know, back in this area, 
So as long as your main weight was here and your counterweight is, is up in that region and then you have this area empty, your Boonsburg egg will always, it'll always work because you can expand outward and outward. Um, and that's very simple. The six, seven, so if you start with a box of one, whatever the box is, it's one. If you go out six of radii here and a six of a radii here for a quarter circle and a quarter circle. And then here it's a seven, but from letter where the B is, and, the, and it goes this way, and then you double up from where C is, and then you come back this way. You will have a perfect Bloomsburg egg every time. And this I, I came up with because I learned it from the golden ratio. By, by, that's how I discovered how to make a Bloomsburg egg this way. Thank you.